modification is working. Replace the motor. Just like the original. What you guys are looking at here is something that I've been searching for for many, many years. This is the original 2007 Dead Eye Drake Pirate Skeleton. The 2007 model, meaning the posable arm version, or the... There's really no other phrase for it. Now, the 2007 compared to the 2009 model has many distinct differences. One being the main posable arm mechanism that's in this one that they, um, that they later completely redid and uh, turned it into a a gear driven and a belt driven mech used in Jason or basically all the Jasons. Now what never really fa what never really got my understanding is that in 2007 they had the Jason which just had a standard belt driven mech which slung the arm the machete up and down. I don't understand why they didn't incorporate that mechanism into this one, which is from the same year. Maybe it was an early or a late production to where they came up with that. I don't know. Last minute thing. Oh, new mechanism. But anyways, this is the 2007 Pirate Skeleton or Dead Eye Drake, whatever you want to call it. Compared to the 2009 model, it, it has so many differences. One being the exterior cosmetic details, the clothing, the face, uh, obviously the arm. Audio is exactly the same, but um, personally, this is the one that I've been looking for for years. I was I never really gravitated towards the 2009 version just because of how different it is. Maybe it's an originality factor for me. I have no clue, but I'm just a fan of the, of the 07 model. Um, now I actually got this from Donovan for I think I paid around a hundred. I paid a hundred dollars cash flat. Maybe a little bit more, like 125, and then I actually gave him the, this camera that I'm using right now. He's just letting me borrow it so I can make a few of these reviews, because I'm gonna save up and buy a better Canon camera. Even though this one is really nice as it is, I may just buy another one of these. But this one's getting old. It's it's got its, a couple problems with it. So, but Donovan's been using it nonstop. So, why not have him uh, enjoy some some footage with this, some use with it? But anyways, enough about that. This thing, even though it was purchased cheap, it came at a cost, Cos cosmetically, internally, all of it. Nothing worked on it. <laughs> the only thing that was actually remotely noticeable was the head turning, and that even was on the verge of quitting, because everything had split gears, all of it had dying motors, so I based, to, to give you a summary, I'm not, not going to go through each detail with repairs, because I didn't make a restoration on this. Um, the neck mechanism for the head turning and all that, the motor was dying and the split gear was done. So, with that being said, that motor's been replaced, new gear, same thing for the body turn, there was a broken gear in there, that's been replaced, a new motor's been put in there as well as a new gear, and the sword arm mechanism, a new motor's been put in that. But the sword arm mechanism was the most difficult challenge I've ever had to face with this guy. Because it was broke, it was the plastic piece was snapped right at that moving joint, right in the little shoulder piece right there, so I had to fabricate, I had to fabricate it back together melt it, sand it down to where it's not poking out too much and it does, and it still fits on the mechanism properly, then insert it back on, realign the gears because the gears were having a problem and they weren't, they weren't binding together, they weren't clicking, so they, I mean it started clicking and started making all this buzzing racket, so I had to realign all that stuff, repose it because it's no longer you can pose it, but I just don't recommend it. I don't un really understand the posing aspect of it because it either goes, you can click it up once or twice and it goes up half an inch. You can click it down twice, it goes down half an inch. <laughs> you know, it's not like you can bend the whole entire arm because obviously that's going to snap it. So I just, I never really understood that, but 
Maybe they did that because it didn't have any sort of relays and or stopping points to it. It goes up and then the gears click, it, click if it goes too far, but that's not an issue with this one. Because with all the, the necessary repairs that I've made back to this, it couldn't be better. It could not function any better than it does now. I can tell you that right now. Now, there is a little bit of squeaking coming from the head motor. Um, there are resistors on the motor properly. Actually, the original res resistors were put back on there. But they're new motors, so they have to get kind of acclimated with the system and stuff, with the mechanism. And they do stop after a while. And uh, they're getting a lot quieter than they once were. But man, this thing works flawlessly. I could not be happier with an 07 model working like it does now. Uh, this was sold at Sam's Club, actually, along with uh, that cage skeleton over there, same year. Um, which I need to list that thing on eBay for Donovan. <laughs> but anyways, this was sold along with the cage skeleton and several other various inflatables of that year at Sam's Club. I don't, I don't really know how much this thing sold for at Sam's Club in particular. I do remember seeing it. Maybe like $150, I think it was probably around that, $150, $160, which was average for this large of an item. Uh, he stands around 6'2", I'd say, with the hat on, maybe even close to 6'3". But uh, it's, even though it says 6 feet tall, it stands a little bit over that. Um, but uh, it comes with the original box, as you can see, which is great. That's such a bonus, because I love things with the original box, obviously. And uh, if you can read that... His motion, it says motion to sound activated. His He lifts his sword as he turns his head from side to side. His mouth moves as he speaks his pirate phrases. Even his eye glows. There's a little picture of him there. It's the prototype for you. Collapses for easy storage, of course. Wireless micro microphone included. Uh, hide with the microphone and talk to, to unsuspecting... What does that say? I can't even see. To unsuccessing, un, good God, I can't even see that. Unsuspecting passersby. Because I'm looking at it through the camera, and it's hard to even read that. Because I can't see it from where I'm standing, because my eyes are absolute garbage. But anyways, <laughs> um, that's pretty much all I have to say about it overall. It's clean, uh, great condition cosmetically. It just it needed a little bit of cleaning on the base area because, because of course you don't really find that many with that um, with a clean base because so many people use that button to step on rather than actually go down and press it. So he's actually on motion activated motion slash sound activated mode right now, so I don't have to go up to him every time. But you guys are gonna see this guy in action. Works 100%. Couldn't be happier with the results. And here we go. And this guy, oh, I also forgot to mention that this guy has a new speaker in him. 
I uh, took a speaker out from a parts bin from like a 2014 Santa which had better audio quality in general. Um, no, not better audio quality, better sound distribution because the old one was shot and not even nearly as loud enough because I, I didn't realize how bad the old one was until I put this one in there because it is so loud and it's not even turned up all the way. That pretty much concludes this video on this guy. I could not be happier with this guy. I mean, I'm so happy to finally own one after so many years. And, yeah, we'll play him a couple more times for you.